I'm gonna do a quick embroidery on a towel, give you a few hints. What I have done is I have hooped this stabilizer and it is a sticky stabilizer on one side. But to get the sticky to show, you're just gonna take a pin and score all the way around it, inside of the hoop. And then just make you a big X in the middle. This side where the sticky shows. We're going to put our towel against that. got my design in the machine. I did it on in Brilliant software and I put it on a USB stick and put it in there. It tells you what size you're going to be sewing so you'll know which hoop to put in. Okay. Now I'm going to put the hoop on. Make sure it's in the guide. So I've got my hoop loaded and my name is you want to make sure you've got the hoop in there. My name is going to be going up like this. So I've got this. This way, make sure you're on the right side. And you just stick that towel down to your sticky paper. And you've got it in the middle position. So you've got that pin you put in there to kind of get gauge towards the middle of it. So I'm going to take that pin out. And I've got a piece of heavyweight tearaway stabilizer. It's a scrap I had from another piece. I'm gonna go ahead and put it underneath here too because I want those letters to stand out on that, the weave of that towel. So I'll kind of just slid it under the whole hoop. I've got it there. I'm also going to take some Aquafilm topping and it's wash away. And it works really good to put on top of your towels. It's also called Salvi by another brand. But you just take it and you're gonna put it on top of the towel. And the embroidery will sew right on the top of it. So you're right in the middle, middle just get it kind of centered. And what I do to kind of hold it in place is to pin down some of the corners. It does wash away, so get sponged up in there a little bit, that's okay. Go along the edges so you don't have to worry about taking your pins out. with your hands, but it's easier just to pin it. Okay. And we're ready to sew. We've got embroidery going. And it's time to lower the presser foot. Make sure you have your thread and your bobbin in there to go. And when I push go, it's going to go start at the middle. You can do the plus one and go to the beginning. In fact, I think I'll do plus one sure where it's going to start. That's going to be kind of big. Ooh. Awesome. Here we go.
Our embroidery's finished. We're going to pop it out of the embroidery food. It's our bottom one. We'll take these pins out. That's holding our salvy down, our aquafin. you're going to do is take this tear away and tear it away. It kind of helps if you'll hold your fingers and your fingernails down on that stitching so it doesn't really pull out your stitching. Get as much of that off as you can. It's easier like a band-aid just to rip it off. And this is the piece I put on the very bottom underneath. We just left it free floating under there. Take all your little pieces out. Kind of just perforates right around where your stitching was. If you leave any little pieces in there, they'll wash out when they wash the towel. Okay, now we're going to kind of pull and be careful not to pull out all the little loops on the towel. And take off that sticky paper. This is on the back. This one is not as thick as the other one was, so it tears a little easier. But as you're pulling, just make sure you're not grabbing those little loops and pulling them. It'll make a snag in the towel. And this will wash out if you have some of the little pieces left inside the curves. It will wash out. If you want to, you can take a spray bottle and water and put it on there and it just dissolves it. And that's how you put a name on the towel. And I made this one into a giant bib on the towel to wear in the car <laughs> for when you're eating fast food. I made it for my daughter. Today's her birthday. Um, she wanted one for her husband, so looks like I got a loose thread right there I need to trim, but we'll go ahead and pull the rest of that stuff out, and that's how you make it on the towel. It makes the stitching really pretty if you use this aqua film on the top of the towel. Thanks for tuning in. There is another video. I'll attach a link to it down below of the how you can make one of these bibs if you want. They also work wonderful in nursing homes for older people that need it when you're feeding them. Thanks.